Hey guys, it's Jen again. I'm just going to do um, my brushes. I'm going to tell you guys what kind of brushes I have, and I do have a lot, so bear with me. Um, I'm going to try and get through this as fast as I can. So these brushes right here are just my your average, you know, eyebrow brush and smudge brushes. Um, the only brush I have in here that's a little bit different is this brush right here, and you just comb through your eyebrows with it. So that's, it's a very nice brush to have. I don't use it a lot, though, because it gets pretty dirty. So here I have some more brushes, and the first one I have is this one. And I like to use it for either concealer or I use it for a cream eyeshadow. It works either way. And then this one is the e.l.f. Professional Eyeshadow Brush. I really do like this one. It's a C shape, and I use this one a lot when I first got into makeup. So the next brush is this one. And I just use it to put eyeshadow all over my lid. And I'm sorry that these ones don't have, like, numbers or names. I just got them in a pack. So then the next one I have is um, pretty dirty because it got stained. But this is just a normal... It's just a normal um, eyeliner brush. And so the next one I have here um, is pretty small. Okay, and it's another one of my pink brushes, so it doesn't have a number. Um, it's pretty. I like to use it for my eyebrows sometimes, or if I'm doing, like, really close detailing, if I try to get something just in the corner, so it's very good for that. Um, I do really like these brushes, so if you guys want to know where I got them, just comment below, and, you know, I'll put the link up. And here's another one. It's just very big. It's really good for just, you know, one swipe, getting it through. So here... For the rest of my brushes. I do have a lot. I just keep them, a lot of them, in this little thing. And it was a pencil container at one point, and the rest I just keep in these little containers that I got with my brushes when I first started doing brushes. So this is one of my first brushes, and it's just, I like to use it as, um, because it's very soft and it's very, I like to use it to blend my colors in. So the next brush I'm going to show you is the Elf Professional uh blending eye brush I can't really read what it says I like this brush it's really good for doing up here and little detailing so it's very nice to have so here's my dirty fan brush and this one's really really large and I do like to use this one for contouring it's a very nice brush these brushes that I got I got them for I think $13 and it was a 24 pack and it's just, it's a very, very soft brush. So this one is just my powder brush. And it's just an all-over powder brush. And as you can tell, all these are, are pink and they're very pretty. They came in a set with a case. So this one is my concealer brush. And lately I've been using this one for underneath my eyes concealer. So this one is just a blush brush that I don't really use anymore. It's just kind of beat up a little bit. It's one of the first brushes I ever got, so I don't use it. This one is really <laughs> dirty. And this is the e.l.f. Powder Brush. And it is really good for powder, um, but I also really love to use it to buff my foundation in. And it's really good at that. It is very, very soft after you wash it a couple times. I love it. I really am happy I purchased this brush. As you can tell, it's just flat on the top. I'm very happy with the purchase of that brush. So here is just the foundation brush for the set that I got. Um, and this one is a small powder brush, a small fan brush that also came with that set. And it's really good for after any fallout, just to take the fallout out. So this one is a Maybelline New York blush brush. I'm not sure where I got this one. I've just kind of accumulated a lot of them. And sometimes I do like this to... Um, kind of blend out my contouring. This brush I do not use at all. I don't know why I still have it. It's very flimsy and it, it's not good for anything. So this brush is another one that I got in a set and I do, it's a little beat up because it's one of my first ones. So I don't really use these brushes anymore. I mainly use the pink ones. But this one is a um, concealer brush and it's really good for contouring too. So this one is the Bath and Beauty brush. 
and I love this one for it's very small so if I want a very sharp contour I use this one because it fits perfectly in the hollows of my cheek and I think I got like a three set for like a dollar it was on sale I do have these little brushes um this one's really beat up it's an old one um it's just concealer brush and here is my smallest fan brush of them all and I don't really use it so I should probably get rid of some of my brushes this one is bent um not sure why but it's this is just like I guess like a lip brush I don't as I said I don't really use those brushes anymore this brush I do use and I think I got it in a set uh, with like some makeup and I like to use this one for once again contouring or blush or wiping powder on my face it's really an all-over kind of good brush and it is kind of flat you know this way so it's very good for contouring this one is yet another concealer brush that I don't use a lip brush a, another eyeliner brush this one is just I usually use this one for my eyebrows if I want a bold look um, it's just another eyeshadow brush this one I do use okay and it's just a really big brush and I like to use it for just wiping the extra powder off my face another eyeshadow brush this one's bent there this is another eyeshadow brush I came in the Bath and Beauty packet and I don't use it at all. I think the other brush that came in the Bath and Beauty packet was a smudge brush. Okay. Another blending brush. Another eyeshadow brush. Another <laughs> blending brush. Um, I'm sorry that some of them are kind of deformed. When I washed them, I put them in backwards. Um, that wasn't a very good idea. I don't recommend doing that. Um, so the next is just another lip brush from my pink set. And my pink set is so soft. It is unbelievable. And I got them for pretty cheap, so I'm very, very impressed with that. Um, I mean, I like it, and it's worth the money and it was free shipping free 24 hour shipping actually here's this brush I use it for my eyebrows sometimes if I want a very strong line right there so the next brush I'm going to show you is stuck in my little container and this is just my kabuki brush as you can tell it's just black and white I just you know use it for blending all over Oh, I like. There's one more brush. It's another deformed lip brush. <laughs> okay, guys. So that's all my brushes. Well, most of them. Some of them I do have put away that I don't really use anymore. Um, if you guys have any video requests or anything, just comment down below. I definitely will try to get the time to do it. Um, yeah. So if you guys want, like, a makeup tour or, you know, anything else... Just comment down below and I'll do my best to get it done for you guys. So you guys have a great day. <laughs> Bye.